Welcome back everybody uh, to our hardcore survival after the new year or whatever. So, um, I had a, I, I know in episode 1 or on day 1 I was telling you about uh, me and 789 Gaming's website and how I'd been working on it for a long time. And if you go to www.tickens.com you can see it's still the uh, the same, looks fine, but actually the the program I made it on thinks that I've tarnted the program, although I did pay the, uh, it was 80 or 79 euro, and, uh, I have my receipt and PayPal receipt and all that, but, um, so I'm, I'm trying to get some help with it, but, uh, yeah, I think the website's pretty much, uh, screwed, but anyway, that is, uh, I, I do have another idea for another website, though, but, um, you, you need to, probably hire someone to help uh, us with the kind of idea but um, I think it would do well if we could get it done but anyway uh, I wanted to talk a little bit uh, a little bit about making mods for Minecraft which I know nothing about now I just started following a tutorial on YouTube on how to make these mods using Eclipse and uh, Coder Pack and all this stuff but uh is is really interesting. I'll put a link to the tutorial I was using in the description because it was really good. The um, wait a minute. I do have flint. <laughs> um, oops. Anyway, let's uh let's get this portal lit up for. Yeah, give us that. Oh, oh no. Wait, that looks right. Is that... Oh god, that was... Alright, made it too high, guys. <laughs> um, and just... Nope. Iron pickaxes don't mine obsidian. Thought so. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just want to make sure, because I don't want to go off to get more obsidian when you guys are like you could have. Nope, it's not looking good. Alright. We're going to have to use more lava and water. Luckily, there's a bit of lava left. It's going to look like a really weird portal. But anyway. Um, yeah, so with these mods, um, the tutorial, like, I have I had to start it again three times with the amount of stuff that uh, I did wrong or went wrong for me. But um, finally got it. So hopefully I'll be making some mods that I, like, kind of wished someone else had made. Um, but... I don't know how difficult it will be to make them. Uh, there, were, there was one uh, mineable spawners on the Minecraft forum, and it um and it was one that I'd been thinking about doing, and I installed it. But it was a it was a joke, or like it wasn't a joke. But the guy, yeah, it's not, that's going to take too long. Let's see if we can switch really fast. All right, we'll do it. All right, um, the guy that made it lied and said it kind of worked basically and then when the comments said they couldn't get it working he'd he'd basically say uh, that they had done something wrong and yeah that's basically what it was but I would love to be able to make a mod where you could mine the spawners and place them where you want kinda I think that would be really cool um, another one is furnaces would cook uh, things instantly instead of having to wait around so if like you put a stack of 64 and it would take like way 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 faster to uh, cook them although you'd still have to use the coal but it would be way faster I think that would be a pretty cool one uh, there is a glass drop to glass one but uh, I kinda wish I'd I'd um, been able to make mods uh, well I still can't but I wish I could because uh, I would have made the gla glass uh, drops glass one before whoever made that because I always wanted it and I looked up and there wasn't on and a few months later there was but um yeah, it's really cool. Um, yeah, but I think it's a lot of fun um, following that tutorial or whatever, so uh, go check it out. But anyway, uh, we're coming up to 789 Gaming, um, the episode where he said we would possibly fall in lava, or... Oh, there we go, guys. That's, uh, yeah, well, anyway, we're gonna... I'm gonna stay out of caves and away from that lava over there when we get to episode 8 or day 8 
and put on the fancy graphics we're gonna take a, a thumbnail for the video yeah that's good that's good I'm gonna take a thumbnail for actually I probably won't set this as a thumbnail it's not a very good thumbnail I gotta, get, I gotta take thumbnails actually I need one for episode one. Oh, I know I'm gonna trick you guys into watching episode one I'm gonna get on this light myself on fire screenshot there we go and you're all gonna yeah that's the episode one screenshot now you know where it came from I tricked you guys into watching it you were like oh my god he's gonna die in episode one you clicked on it and boom <laughs> that's where it came from ah oh, that would have sucked if I'd killed myself there alright uh, so finally we got some armor uh, creeper blast like sneaking up from behind us won't actually kill us completely um, I'm yeah I like if I died on this episode or any of the ones kind of before it I would feel pretty bad I wouldn't like um, would kind of wish I hadn't uploaded the series but um, I think if I make it by here I'm, I'm not too um, unhappy with well actually yeah that would be pretty bad I want to make it another few episodes at least few days so uh I guess we'll just make some yeah I'm confused what should I make boots and then we have one left over okay so I still need to use that book of enchanting and all the glass I, I don't do I'm not oh yeah I actually wanted to talk about the house planning so basically the idea at the moment is a massive castle with soul sand around that eventually if we did last a long 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 time I'd try to get some ice for underneath the soul sand to make it super slow but um probably just soul sand about three thick then we'll have two layers of cactus that are three high um then there'll be uh, normal desert land but that will be above the light level for mobs to spawn so we'll have kind of like a place that, where we can actually walk around safely and then beyond that there's going to be a uh, giant wall of stone bricks with uh, iron fence on top and then beyond that there'll be a moat so we'll be super safe hopefully and then we'll have a whole underground system for going outside there'll be no gate inside or no gate to the castle from the wall um, so I think if we could get that far like if we could make even the castle with the cactus wall I think that would definitely give us longer to last um, one person said that I they think I might die from my trip back to my house that's something yeah I could imagine and um, you could get caught out with a lot of mobs lucky level wasn't still there I would have died check out the nether guys hopefully there'll be a nether fortress right in front of us let me just change to that uh, in case I start lagging and there's a gas there or something. Uh, okay. Looks. Alright. Don't see another fortress, unluckily. Although, I guess in this thing, we don't really. Like, I'm not gonna build a blaze farm, that's just asking for death. So. Uh, I suppose. We, uh. We don't need another fortress. I don't know why. I guess I would like the wither skulls, the wither skeleton. Uh, we are gonna have to try to find some of them. And with iron armor, I wonder how hard they will be. Like I just don't like the way you can't see how far your health's gone down when fighting them. It makes it kind of difficult. Um, because th that would be a horrible way to die, wither skeleton. Because you'd have no idea what your health is on, and suddenly you die. Um. All right. I uh, need to find, yeah, I'll grab this glowstone, then we need to find some soul sand. Hopefully, uh, ga if a gas shot me off this, would I die? I think I might. But uh, after this, I'll be trying to find some soul sand. Probably be next episode. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing you guys all there, hopefully. And uh, I think I'll just use this glowstone for lighting up that kind of sandy area that we can move around freely in. Uh, inside the wall of the house and then we can slowly expand lighting up the rest of the land anyway guys thanks for watching uh, 
Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next episode.